among all the tourist attractions, the culture is only one part of all the potential attractions that exist, and therefore it has to show its own character to remind the real Sangiha of their nature and the local heritage, which will be the most important factors to attract the tourists. Because tourism should also be able to give a distinctive character to the area as the key of the tourist destination value. The tourism is very important sector in the effort to support regional economy development. Tourism will have a multiplier effect which means that other sectors will also evolve when the tourism sector is developed. The development of the tourism will not be growing without an effort is being made. Therefore, the availability of enthusiasts and professionals is needed in the development of the tourism sector. And in order for the tourism sector to become one of the leading in this sector. In the end, when the tourism in Sangir gets set up by proper management, then the tourism may serve as a guide in the direction of more awareness among the local community. This awareness will be the base of the ecotourism activity itself and Sangiha will become what it can be, a place where wonderful culture, wonderful nature above and underwater and tourism go together hand in hand. The developing of ecotourism in Sangiha Islands also has a very strategic value as a source of increasing the profit from the economic and cultural activities, which can change the way of the local people's life and make them appreciate what they have. In the past, I tried together with my partner from Holland to do business by offering tours in Sangiha by the ecotourism concept. But it seems not so easy since the condition at that time was actually not really ready for supporting our business yet. Lack of understanding of the tourism by the local stakeholder was the biggest problem. The problems with doing ecotourism might have shown up at that time, but my heart did not stop beating for my home island. By this time, I'm still working on my dedication to contribute to my ancestor land. My contribution will be making this well-educating documentation because I believe this is the best way to give the public understanding about the ecotourism concept, the beautiful things of the local life as distinctive cultural traditions and original natural environments are some of the factors that determine if tourism is developing. Though the discussion in this documentation is more from the perspective of the natural potential, of the marine perspective, it will still be on behalf of the Sangya Islands prosperity as the beautiful place. The purpose is to inform about and promote the potential of ecotourism and how it is done, while at the same time preserve the natural potential and cultural values in the society of Sangya. However, developing the ecotourism in Sangya Islands needs a sustainability of the locals' interests and activities. This means that the tourist attractions have to have their own unique characters that other places don't have. The enjoying of pleasure in these islands is appreciating the special values of the local wisdoms and the intact Christian nature as the main attraction. By ecotourism, the social and cultural factors are also considered as an integral part of the tourism environment because the local values are of unique interest and are also part of the key resources in attracting ecotourism. Therefore, the knowledge about the cross-culture understanding is needed to anyone who will travel to untouched places like Sangiha Islands. I give the one example that the ecotourist is supposed to respect the different local cultures. Like you can see in these photographs, Maria, my wife, is wearing some of the swimsuits that is acceptable. 
instead of a bikini which the local people in Sangya are still not used to. As Sangyanis, I'm very concerned about Sangya futures. So that is why I'm so furious and must take my part of the responsibility of the tourism impact, either from the tourists or from the local. For myself, I have adopted some of the Western culture already. But this doesn't mean I have to be a slave for the Western civilization, right? What I believe is that we might not look like a Sangyanis, might not talk like a Sangyanis. But what I do and what I care about is more for my home island of Sangyanis. Finally, with the considering of the limited time, cost, and the acceptance that we can have, we still would like to gradually make more of the ecotourism documentation in Sangya Island to show the other activities that you might give the unique chance to experience. With the purpose to support the successful development of Sangya by promoting education in the tourism sector, and hopefully, this documentation can describe my homeland, Sangiha, as a hidden beauty place that can be an attractive destination. I hope you will learn from it and be motivated to contribute. Just a uh, short uh, my story of my uh, experience in Denmark. Uh, to make uh, simple words, I describe uh, living in Denmark is about efficient and effective. Hidup di Jerman, eh di Denmark, Denmark harus efisien, efisien. Jadi tak apa dia mau bawa orang jam 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 karet kuat ke sini. Okay. But uh, still, uh, there is uh, many uh, great things about my homeland, Sangir Islands. So uh, we are have a plan every year. We are come to visit Indonesia also as Sangir. And then my, uh, I have a big ambition to make a documentation for uh, Sangir ecotourism. Walaupun dia sudah tinggal di Denmark, tapi dia selalu ingat akan Sangir dan selalu datang ke sini dan membuat beberapa dokumen. Uh, I think uh, just it for uh, okay. for now. So uh, thank you for your uh, attention. Petaroka <laughs> kau very different but I believe that every person is different so of course Mesak is has his background from the culture but he is still Mesak unique Mesak Yandung Hati Mesak This was my second visit to Sangya Island and since this is the home island of my husband Misak, I will of course be coming back many times in the future. But I think I would never have discovered this remote island if I did not meet my husband Misak. During our visits here, we have been doing some simple trips to explore the ecotourism prospect. Ecotourism is based on the concept of nature, culture and history. It has given us some unforgettable and unique moments in the nature and with some of the local cultural people that were performing for us, like at this school. I have read similar descriptions from Western people that visited Sangia Islands both before and after World War II. They described the Sangianese people that behaved friendly and nice to the visitors. I come from Denmark in Scandinavia and I cannot hide my physical appearance. I am tall and I have white skin. 
so I stick out when I'm in the public area of Sanya. People see me, and most of the time people are very curious and they keep on staring at me, and sometimes even try to make contact. I visit with different. I don't want attention, and I don't want special treatment. I want to have privacy, so I can experience the pure and real Sangha life.